Well, we do have results from Tamarack now. Shawnee, 173. They get the better of Elida, 185. Jake Shively, the medalist, with a 38. Well, turning our attention to football now. Speed, athleticism, heart, courage, the will to win. Those are all characteristics we often hear about successful athletes. And Coldwater's Brody Hoyne exhibits all of those qualities. And it's one of the reasons he was a part of two state championship teams last year. Football in the fall, baseball in the spring. Of course, expectations are high on the gridiron this year, but with Hoyne at the helm, Chip Otten and company know they are in good hands. Back-to-back -back state titles on the gridiron hasn't diminished the work ethic of the Cavaliers quarterback and defensive back. Obviously, we know it's not handed to us. It's given because we come out here and we work hard every day, but you could say it's an expectation here at Coldwater. That's what we do. We win state championships the last couple years. The goals remain clear, but the schedule is challenging. Coldwater got off to a great start in week one against a talented Kenton team. If you script the, the start of a game and the start of a season, we, we it, it worked perfectly for us. We um, Right off the bat, we, Brody, I think, probably had, I don't know, 70, 80 yards in those first two drives. From there, Coldwater never looked back, winning 24-2 and avenging a loss from last season. But it doesn't get any easier for Brody and the Cavs. This week, it's a rematch of last year's state title game with Bishop Hartley. And Hoyne is expecting it to be physical. Last year, the mouth of Benninger went down with an ACO, and Nick Clooney went out for about six, seven weeks with a shoulder surgery. So uh, definitely come out of there, obviously, with a win, but also injury-free. Week three starts the Cavaliers on their max schedule, so Brody knows that his team is looking to him to lead Coldwater to a three-peat. Coming into this season, the senior has changed his leadership style a little bit. I've always been a quieter guy in the past, like vocally, because I've always been playing with the upperclassmen, and I just kind of led by example to the guys like in my class and below me. Now, being a senior, I've stepped up more of the vocal leadership, like maybe before the game or at halftime if we need to step it up. You know, sometimes people ask, well, how do you call this or how do you do this? And I say, well, it's, it's really easy when you have somebody that you can count on that can make plays out of nothing, and, and, you, and you know he's going to put you in a good situation. And when it comes down to crunch time, you know you can, you can count on it. After graduation, Brody will attend Eastern Michigan University, continuing his football career as a safety for the Eagles. Taking care of his college plans early allows Hoyne to focus solely on his final high school football season. It was definitely big to have it done before my senior year uh, so I could just play with no worries because it's definitely, it takes a lot of stress out, a lot of thinking. Uh, the whole process does, but Eastern was a great fit for me. You know, I like everything they got going on up there. He's smart. He knows how to play. Um, he's quick, he's fast, he's strong. We see him do things almost every day. It's like, how do you, how can you do that? And I don't know, I just, I just do it. Um, so he puts all those tools together um, into one person and he's got them all. In Coldwater, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.